Hi guys! I know what we're gonna do today. Something we've kind of done. We've done art boxes, but I'm so excited doing little mini art boxes. Who doesn't love miniatures and fun little things you can just bring with you? So I did this cute little box and we have these little um, cardboard, well they're kind of more like a um, carton type clamshell and we actually sell them with just the little clasps already. But you could use an Altoid tin, you could use anything you want. And we're just decorating it. And instead of using clay, look at that for your little art supplies. And what's really fun about these is they're magnetic, so they will stick to this. You can pull them out, clean them in your little palette here. Let's get started. So we are gonna start with this little box, but you can use any type of box you want. These are just the ones I have that I'm using. And I just put some paint on it, I let it dry. So what I'm gonna do now is embellish this little guy. And this is the part that's fun, but you can just use whatever you already have around to make this work for you. I wanted this a little more industrial, so this is how I'm doing it. We did a video on decorating these little boxes, and then we're gonna to get to the guts. I wanna decorate it first. It just makes it a little easier. And this is gonna be my front, and I think I'm gonna add some fun art pieces. And we also have some fun images we put up with different art pieces, but also on Pinterest, I have some really fun art images listed there. We'll put a link to my Pinterest page and you can find that. We'll just make him kind of simple. Let's just glue him on. I'm just using a, a Mod Podge. I'm gonna use some fun rub-ons. This is in white and it just says create art. This is where you get to have fun and just add whatever you would like. Add a little distressing ink to him. Activate it with some water. And you can add as much or as little as you would like to the front of your box. Now let's get to the inside. So these are, the, if you think of uh, the frozen juices, these are like the ends of the cans and they're kind of fun to use for this. And if you didn't want to put a palette up here, you could use this space for anything you would like. So I'm using um, a heavier duty glue. This is Type Bond Quick and Thick. I think this worked better to put heavier pieces in. And you kind of need to get enough because this is ridged. Hold that for a second. And I have these metal plates, so you just need some sort of a metal plate to put in the inside of your box. And I am also going to glue this into the bottom. So I'm pressing these down and hold those for a few minutes. So what I'm using here is I have these little half inch by half inch little cups. And I thought, oh my gosh, this would be easier than the clay I did. So I just had magnets, just sheets of magnets, and I used my scorer and just scored them so they came out nicely. So I'm just going to break these apart. So if you even have those advertising magnets, you can cut those up and they work really well. Then you would just have to glue them on. These just have sticky on the back already and I'm just setting it into the center of that. And there you go. And you can see that is just going to work well. And then when you have them with the magnets in here, when you need to clean just one out, or refill one, you can just pull the one out and clean it out very nicely. So after I put the magnets on the back of each, in this little carton, I know that I can fit 20 of these. Five across, four down, and they fit nicely. Then I can just pull them out if I need to, and they stay in here really well. Now we'll just put our little clasp on here, but we had done another video that shows you how to do this, but I'll show you this really quick. Okay, so I'm using these little clasps that I have. The easiest way to do this was to put this on here, clasp them together, line it up, and I'm just going to poke my holes. I'm gonna put this one in first. The bottom one you're gonna to need to move your little containers or you're not gonna be able to poke your holes. See these are right here, so I'll move a couple of these out. So while we've got this, I will just open my brads. And there you go. So the last thing I'm gonna do is put a sealer over it. This is a carton, so you really wanna make sure it's sealed. I would seal the inside of this carton and the outside. 
this and you could use any little containers that you have at home and just put magnets in them and put them in a in an Altoid tin, in a any type of a box you would like and make your own art case. Okay guys, just another idea for a little art caddy. So maybe you can come up with a fun idea. I'd love to see some photos of what you guys come up with, with whatever you're using, whether it's bottle caps, plastic pieces like this, small little ceramic jars. I mean, I bet you have so many things. Heck, even Lego pieces, maybe that might work. I am not sure. But a fun way to add your watercolors or oil paints or whatever you would like. Whatever you do, have fun.